right, y'all. Kind of early in the morning, but Saturday morning. It's your boy. Back with another video. Look, man, I'm out here early. My brother called me super early. And it's super warm out here today. I don't know. It's kind of kind of spooky to be that warm early in the morning like this. Uh, got some clouds in the sky, so I don't know if it's still going to thunderstorm or what's going on. I ain't watched the weather there a couple of days. We had a storm the other day that was crucial. I don't know, man. Rumbling and shaking the house, lightning there, well, lightning and boats going across the sky. But you know, can't change the weather. Can't change the weather. But man, I'm finna get in here. When my brother pull up, we finna go check out this. Fine, man. See if y'all like this fine. He found the some that somebody might need, and it's for sale immediately. It's for sale. If he don't decide to keep it. So, I'm going to uh, get back with y'all in a minute, man. Uh, we're going to have a lot of things to talk about. I guess we can talk about now until he pull up. Give me a second. Give me a second. All right, since they're second up, man, I just want to thank everybody for tuning in to the live podcast, New York in your city. If you didn't tune in, um, I'm going to link it on my uh, Facebook and my Instagram. Y'all go watch it. Um, it was just like an interview, somebody from New York. I thought that was kind of deep, big, that uh, somebody way up there reaching out to somebody way down here in the South. I thought that was love, you know what I'm saying, love. Sometimes, man, love don't be right right next door. It could be somewhere else. Y'all see that wagon in the background. They noticed the wagon. They noticed my crew cab. So it's time to get right, man. It's time to get it all the way together, man. It just take time. Been going through a lot with this, uh, with this pandemic stuff, and the money flowing in. Don't get me wrong, the money's here for it, but when it come down to taking it to these shops, y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. When you take it down to these shops, man, you uh, you don't know what you're gonna get from them, man. Sometimes you still be gone months. You know what I'm saying? Not weeks, months, and it take it, it just bothers you. It kind of puts you, set you back, man. Cause now that uh. It took took a while for to get it, get some other little work done to it. Um, now my other guy bagged up, so he told me to bring it in May. So now I'm still, still at, um really pretty much square one to tell you the truth. So, but this how it's looking so far. Let's see if y'all see in the background. See a jackknife back there? I got up the jackknife. Um, I ain't got the cab on the chassis yet. Been weeks. Since I got it back, but I ain't got it on it yet because I had another friend that's a camp post came up here with a crane. Well, actually, I was buying my own. Um, I was gonna buy my own crane from uh, Harbor Freight the other day, and they was out of stock at both locations. They had one in stock in an area, but it was like an hour and a half drive. I didn't think I should took the hour and a half drive to get that, but I might have to, man. I might have to, because the weather's getting better. But last couple of days we had some storms, so uh, I may have to, man. So my partner, he been saying, I'm coming on, coming on. It's been three weeks, so he pulled a camera up here and uh, helped me put that crane, that uh, this frame with his body on this cab, on that chassis. I'm kind of whistling, talking crazy because I just woke up for real, for real. But yeah, he's supposed to come on and show y'all, man. He's supposed to come over and help me uh, finish putting that cab on that chassis. <laughs> I got to cover it up and all mean necessary because it was storming so bad. I don't think that plastic was going to hold up on that, on that motor. It cranks up and runs just like that, y'all. That's crazy as hell. It cranks up and run, but let me show y'all what I was supposed to get done. He said, May, since he booked, I missed my time and my appointment because of, of the little small hiccup, man. But... I got, you know, I got air ride suspension on here. We replacing all that, replacing the bags, which won't take them, him no more than 15 minutes. And then we replacing these lines, settle with these lines here. We're going with some um, braided lines. Uh, would it have quicker response? 
Uh, I really need to finish painting all the rest of that. We're going to sand, blast, and paint the rest of that. This is going to be the bed part, so we're going to do this last because I just want to put the cab over the motor. Run my new brake system. Just so much, man. I forgot I left my cherry pick out here, man. Well, I know I'm going to steal, I hope. But if it ain't sitting out here too much, I'm going to have to cover it up or get rusty. And I got this chassis. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing at all. I just took that cab off that to put on this. Because of my bag, I already marked up and made C-notch. You know what I'm saying? That's C-notch right here. If those that know the look, this area right here. Let me get you closer right there. So it's already C-notch. You know what I'm saying? So it used to be buying all this stuff over and over and over and over. And uh, I did this why I did it this way. You take the cab off that frame to put it on this one. Take the cab off that frame. I mean, take the cab off that chassis, the correct word, chassis. And put it on my chassis that I already marked up with bags and stuff. But nothing wrong with this chassis. Eventually, I'm going to put, give me another cab. Because that cab is done, over with, demolished, finished, trash, gone. My parents gave it to me in 1995. I done had it to now. So I know they're proud of me about that. But it's time to let the junkyard have it. So they're going to have it. And um, uh, if I find another cab or somebody want to buy this chassis, nothing wrong with it. It's already got uh, 373 gears in the rear end, poly traction rear end on this one. This one got a poly traction rear end also. This my, my uh, um, truck here has poly traction rear end too. I just got all that done a couple of years ago. 373s. This one here also has it too. Power traction 373s. Gears in the rear end. So, anybody looking for 90, I say 93 and up to 99 uh, extended cab chassis, I got it, man. I got it. I'm only asking the price is $500. Nothing wrong with it at all. Nothing. Nothing. I mean nothing. I mean nothing. I'm talking about nothing. But uh, $500, man. Y'all come get it. If you stay local, I'll bring it to you. But if you want it, come get it. Extended cab. It's a extended cab chassis. Like for the short bed. Cab. I already got a... Uh, you see it's the original too because it still had the factory. Still had the factory exhaust on it. The truck actually had... Uh, you, you won't believe it, it had 98,000 miles. 98. 98,000 miles. It came from an old, old couple. So the truck, has, the truck itself had 98,000 original miles on it. And I just thought maybe, <clears throat> I just thought maybe when they got I bought it from the guy, the motor was, he took his motor and stuff out and, uh, yeah, he took his motor and stuff out and put it in a old school car or something he did. I don't know why he just did that, but I would have just bought a motor for it. But anyways, man, y'all can come get this thing for 500 Make that long story short, $500. Because I'm about ready to finish this up. Just, it's just a lot going on, man. That's all. See how beautiful the weather is. The sun trying to peek outside. All them storm clouds. So, I don't know, man. Wagon coming soon. Trust me. Crew cab coming soon. Trust me. Got everything, everything for this thing, man. It just some reason I hit that pothole tonight, and it just won't crank. And that was six months ago. It just having bad weather and bad, bad stuff happened in them six months. The reason why it ain't running. Of course, y'all know this is my work truck, so this is why I drive the whole scrap and make that extra change. So I don't know, y'all. Man, I'm just waiting on waiting on my brother to pull up. He said ten minutes. Sometimes 10 minutes to uh, uh, the African American side of the family is 25 minutes, 30. But when he get here, man, I turn the camera back on. See y'all then. Three hours later, Demetrius finally pull up. Yeah. 10 minutes, 30 minutes later, he pulls up. I told him 30 minutes later. <laughs> I'll be there in five minutes. You know, that's Negro time, that's really. 
That really mean, y'all know what that mean. Y'all know what Negro time mean, right? Oh shit. All right, y'all, we made it here. And there's a remote location. See, I'm gonna show y'all what he finna pick up, man. I don't know. I think I like it. I like it myself. Shoot, I can use this for my little Texas trip. Or, oh, you know, you can use this thing for a lot. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ready to see what it is? Who ready to see what it is? You ready to see what it is? Or you already fast forward? Anyway, here it is, y'all. This it, this it, this it. A van. It's a van. My brother getting it. So this is what it is, man. What y'all think? I mean, I think you can make, make it do what it do, though. I always uh, had love for these things right here. Always had love for them. I don't know, y'all. Yep, I don't know. Those open up good on there. Oh, a little bed area. You can lay that stuff down. You might get a TV, uh, TV. Hmm. I'm interested if you don't want it, I promise you. But I ain't got no room for all this stuff, man. I just talking. I was just talking about that station wagon, photo truck. I got too much. I got to get the moving. But this is a nice thing, though. This thing real nice. E E one fifty. So it's a Ford, yeah. It's a Ford. I don't know. E one fifty. Janice TLC cleaning. Oh, Where's Squirrel trying to? I'm finna say buzz it. You please it. Hmm. You said what happened? <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know y'all. This thing pretty sweet. You crank up and run, that's a real strong. Well, y'all, we'll let you see something in a minute. I'm gonna chill and wait till this guy come over and put some air in the tire. Could have bought my pump, I ain't know. Yeah, she gotta find the keys and all that kind of stuff, so whenever that happens, we'll get back with y'all, man. Yeah, that's better to hold it tight. You don't know what it is. I turned the switch off, but if you got it on, it might work. If it connects, it's gonna work. Shit, it's gonna work. Got heat coming in. You seen that fire then. <laughs> Alright, test number two, man. We're finna see what's up. Hear the ting ting, that's what you want to hear. 
when you're dealing with an old car. Not that kind of team. I mean, the battery ain't tight. Yeah. No, it ain't tight on one side. Hey, hey, how you doing, man? Trying to ride it out of here? Yeah. You're gonna have to put a pump in it. Oh, the pump going in the tank? Uh -huh. We put a new battery in it, but it, it wasn't getting no fuel pressure. Oh, okay. It, it had a brand new fuel pump put in it, and a brand new fuel pump relay put in it, and she drove it to the tire, or the talent, she parked up here to fix stuff. She drove it from there, parked it right here, and it's been sitting ever since. I had a guy come out, we put a hot battery in it. And when we went to go try to crank it, we hit this, this thing right here. This is your fuel pressure release valve. Wasn't nothing coming out. Wasn't nothing coming out. Now, from that point, he's like, I ain't got time to even fool with it. So he didn't check the relay or nothing, but I figured it was either the pump had done setting that gas too long. And got corroded. Mm-hmm. Because it hadn't been being used. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you. <laughs> Well, Good back job. to the drum, boy. If you don't pop your head. <laughs> yeah, I got that trailer. But other than that, the, the, it ran great. It ran perfect. But it's got a fuel tank of fuel. Full tank of fuel. Fuel. You got to drain it. You pump inside to get that? Mm-hmm. I believe so. That's what I have. Mm -hmm. They charged you $900 to replace it. Damn. Damn. Well, glad you came, so we kept yeah, fooling she, like that. <laughs> she just called me, and she's like, hey, can you come and get my stuff out of it? <laughs> I was like, yeah, I guess so. She didn't know. She probably forgot about that. Let me watch the, the truck. Well, y'all, got to go regroup, try something else. But I, I really like it, though. I like it, man. It like a good traveling. I don't need no more stuff, though. I don't need no more junk. I really don't. But knowing me, if I buy that, put the work in it, I'm going to sell it immediately. Before I get attached to it, because it's like a good van you can carry your family traveling in with. But me personally, the dude just said himself that it runs good, but the fuel pump, that's gonna be a problem. This a Ford. Uh, what I will say is uh, maybe it's a relay, maybe it's a fuse blow, because they don't know. He said the fuel pump didn't work. They drove it home and it cut off. Could be a fuel, a fuel. This is a secret. You can't tell them why you buying it. Could be a relay or a fuse blow to make the fuel pump not come on. That's why I cut off when they got home. You can't tell them. I'm trying to put y'all on game. You gotta get it. This van is given to him, to my brother. It's his van. Lady worked with him, told me he can have it just to get out the yard. I told him that's a come up. The worst case scenario, you make a thousand dollars or more with a van like that. Clean it up, you get it running. You probably put it on the market at least four grand. Easily four grand. Somebody buy it. They got the matching wheels around it. Uh, we ain't gonna trust the tires. They look good, but they could be sitting up. Like I told y'all, DOT on the tires. They got date and they got expiration date. So they can be expired. But other than that, the van is nice. The paint just peeling. That's about it. As long as it ain't leaking in there, I ain't smell no water. I ain't see no residue of water falling. Shit, and they been sitting up like that. It's a good van, man. Probably a good van. You get it running. Like I said, you can get 4K for it. You got a lot of people like those vans. Especially you got a nice little family. They'll buy that. Me, I buy it for my family. We'll travel on that thing now. Easily. Put me some 12 in the back. They got a little bed too. You hear me? But man, I'm going to get with y'all in a minute. This video is over. Too much over. And we done, man. We didn't succeed today. I'm going to show y'all when we do succeed. Probably going to load up on a trailer or a dollar. And uh, get it from over here in the Real, real quick before they change their mind. And uh, I'm going to get back with y'all in a minute. It's your boy.